So uh, the old PDX Ruby website uh, was uh, DocuWiki, I think. Uh, it was editable. Um, I don't know. Did anybody ever edit it? No. OK. <laughs> Great. Um, so at last month's meeting, I, I was doing Tim's job of filming. Uh, and consequently, I couldn't uh, take part in the group exercises. Uh, so I noticed uh, Jesse Cook was in the back porting the DocuWiki website to Jekyll. Uh, and so I helped him out. Uh, and then um, the next day, we had it all ported over, all the content. And um, I don't know why I'm showing this Google search results page. Super important. <laughs> Just trying to get on the flow of the talk. OK, there we go. Well, this is, so, so yeah, so at some point, uh, Kristen Kamandich uh, flipped the switch, and uh, this new site is up. Um, we really haven't customized it much. The, so this is a stock theme, um, and we're, I, I, we kind of wanted to have at least the visual dialed in before. Oh, and also, it's, I'm in reverse video mode, so that is actually what it looks like. <laughs> um, so yeah, we kind of wanted to have the, 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 um, the, the visual aspect dialed in before uh, this month's meeting. But um, it, so it's probably going to change a little bit um, visually um, in the next week or so. Um, but I, I wanted to show uh, that it is still editable. So this is a Jekyll site. Uh, but at the bottom of every page, there are these two links, edit in prose or GitHub. Um, and if, uh, I think most people are going to be more familiar with editing using the GitHub editor. Uh, so uh, yeah, if you click on the link at the bottom of any page, um, pretty much all the pages are in Markdown. And you can edit it. And if you don't have um, direct commit access uh, on the repo, it will submit a pull request, and there are a bunch of people watching this, and they'll they'll review it right away and 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 um, commit it, uh, and it'll automatically rebuild because it's GitHub Pages. It's very simple. Um, and then I got a little bit more fancy, and I I actually made it so that um, if you visit a link to a page that doesn't exist, then the 404 page. Uh, lets you create the page, nice. so um, so you can create a link uh, and then you can follow the dangling link. Except you'd have to do that in two pull requests, so that's kind of awkward. So it doesn't. It's not. The trouble is, this isn't very really, very discoverable. The point is, we have a website and it is editable, and you can um, you can put content in, and and people are farming this content every month. There are there are people that um, add add the videos from the sessions and um, and make updates every month. Um, and you can, you can contribute to it if you like. That's all.